what's going on guys so um i just wanted to talk real quick we're back in the range today you know just as usual per usual so i just wanted to talk because i saw uh the king live uh check out the channel uh he did a video on uh the the whole like smurfing problem in valor and whatnot and i felt like that was geared a lot towards like upper like upper elo people now as for someone who's actually in like lower elo and please before i get the comments up just get good, guys. Just get good. Uh, they, like, please understand that there's actually, like, a problem. But then there's... It, it, it's a problem that there really isn't a way to fix. If we're being honest. Because if, if we're being honest, there's no real way for Valorant, like, for Riot to actually figure out a way to, like, detect Smurfs. There just, there just isn't. Like, there just isn't a way that that happens. Oh. Like there really just isn't a way for Valorant to like te detect it because like that and the main reason why they try to stop Smurfs is because of the whole like 20 like the 20 games. That's why you have to play 20 unrated games. That's why it's so long, tedious and well annoying. But the thing is is that like I've just come you, as a lower elo, as somebody who's in Iron 1 the amount of people that we that that we will come into contact with, oh god, like the amount of people that we'll come into contact with that are like playing on their, I was like, oh, I'm playing on my brother's account, or oh, my friend's paying me to like up to get his plan his account to like platter some. I mean, I've just had to learn like what what do I need to get better. Because I've also heard the stories of people who've gotten out of Iron 1 and went straight to gold. Because you've had to put up with this nonsense when you're when you're down here. And then when you finally make... Like, by the time you, f you finally get to a point where you're making it out, you're better than everybody who's above you. Because you're used to... You're used to putting up with these games where you're... Where you're over here having to deal with... With... with like, you have one good performance. Like, if you're like me, you'll have, like, one good performance. And then afterwards... Like, I'll, I'm an Iron 1. And so, like, I'll play a game with, like, Iron Ones and unranked people. And, you know, I'll do my own. Like, I'll hold my own. It, it, it won't be anything big or nothing. But then, but then the next game, I'm getting matched up with bronzes. I'm getting matched up with, with silvers. I'm like, excuse me? And then I'm over here blaming matchmaking. I'm just like, well, I just have to get better and be good enough to, to get, to beat silvers. That's, that's the thing. Because anybody who plays Valorant at this point, if you don't know, like, <laughs> you might as well learn now. The ranking system is brutal. Like, it is genuinely brutal. There, It takes no slack. You can get boosted people. Like, trust me, we, we have people who complain about that. It's just like, when, when, like, when you have to deal with, like, all these, like, oh, like, oh, he's a boosted rank, or he's, like, boosted this, or boosted that. I mean, like, they happen. It's what happens when people five stack. It's just a part of the, it's just a part of the game, my guy. I, I, I hate to tell you. But, like, at some point, you're going to have to get used to dealing with Spurs. Now, I, I, I don't want to be that person just to be like, oh, you just got to grind and put in the work and put in the hard effort and you'll finally achieve your dreams. You'll finally get out of Iron 1. Because I, I, like, I, I know how it is to be on both sides. I literally played a game last night where we won and, and like, you, you know, like we had to like work for it and whatnot and all that stuff. But then, like, the dude on the other team was literally just like, was literally just like, and this is why I'm never getting out of Iron 1. Well, he, he said, this is why I'm never effing getting out of Iron 1. And I'm being honest with you, I know his pain. I'd be, li I'd be sitting here lying to you recording this if I, if I didn't tell you that I know his pain. I, I know it's hard to get out of, out of Iron 1. Like, I, I, I haven't seen my rank change for the past two months. It's been tough, my guy. And I mean, like, there really isn't anything that I can really tell you. Except for just, like, 
get better at mechanical game sense, which means that you're going to need to download some type of aim trainer, maybe just aim labs, because that's the most popular, and get better mechanical skills in these people. And then after which, you just got to start watching. And if you're trying to get game sense, I mean, like, you could play the game a ton or just watch pro gameplay and do what they're doing. That's all you would necessarily need to do. Like, if you watch the pro gameplay and use some of their tactics in lower elos, you're probably going to do a lot better. But I'm... That's really the only way that you can go about doing the whole ranking up from Iron 1. Because if you're hard stuck in one... One thing I've realized is that if you're hard stuck in one rank, it usually means that that's where your skill cap is. So in order to get to break a skill cap, you have to like practice, you have to try, you have to like you have to put in the work to get, to get better. Now... There, there's ways to go about it that are a lot smarter, which is mainly just learning about. Pretty much is, if you're trying to do something, if you're trying to accomplish something that you never did, you have to do things that you never did. But then it also means that, like, if you're trying to accomplish this one thing, there's probably someone else out there that also is trying to accomplish that one thing. So you should probably look at them. I.e., the pros. That's the only way that I've learned that is actually a way to, like, for me to help. It's why in some of my games, I'll get comments where they're just like, like, I'll play Phoenix. I remember one game, I, I played Phoenix, and they were just like, oh, Phoenix, why are you in Iron 1? Because I was, uh, it was one game where I was actually popping off, and I was low-key kind of carrying the team, but th that's not the point. And they were like, oh, hey, Phoenix, why are you in Iron 1? I was like, hey, man, I don't know what to tell you. Because I, I just, I genuinely just did not know what to tell you. But yeah, that's enough of me rambling and, and uh, being annoying and whatnot. But yeah, thanks for listening. That's going to be it for right now. It's being Boy Ching and Mecha. Don't forget to check links in the description. Don't forget to follow your boy on the socials. And also don't forget to have fun. Live free. Sign it out. Bye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.